In this short video, I'm going to show you how to add a number counter in Wix. Unfortunately, since Wix doesn't support such a functionality, we are going to have to make use of a third party platform. Don't worry though, it's completely free and also very easy to set up. So the first thing I want you to do is to go ahead and click the first link in the description of this video, which will take you to the elfside.com website. Once you click on the link, this is the page that you're going to land on. So from here, head over to the top of the page and there you will find the widgets button right here. From here, I'm going to go over the tools on the right hand side and then go all the way down until we find number counter right here. It's about halfway down for me. So click on that and then this is going to take you to the number counter widgets page. Simply click on create widget for free. And then on the left hand side here, you see a bunch of different templates that you can choose from. Don't worry about the actual design or the look of these templates. These are just here just to show you what it will look like if you go for the default ones. But um, you can change pretty much anything to do with them. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. So I'm going to go for the standard one right here because it looks very nice and clean. So I like the look of that. Then simply click on continue with this template. And then this is where we can customize pretty much anything to do with the actual number counter. As you can see, we can add more counters if you want to right here. I'm not going to do that. So I'll just get rid of this one because I like the look of three right here. Uh, if you click on these ones, you can obviously customize them. You can do, um, you can set manual values or you can use an external URL. There's a lot of different settings here, by the way. I'm not going to get into uh, too much detail about each one because that'll make the video very long. I'll just leave this up to you to explore. Here, you can set a widget title. Uh, let's say customer served, just like this. Just so we have something because it looks really nice. And then on the left hand side here, you have layout as well. So you can change the layout. So if you want number of columns, you can set it to five if you want to. And then that obviously shifts these to the left. And then you have two more spaces right here. In my case, I'll keep it to three. You also have style, change the colors, change the fonts, change pretty much anything, like I said, and then additional settings right here. And yeah, once you're happy with the way it looks and the contents that are in the number counter, what you need to do is go ahead and click add to website for free which is going to generate your widget in just a couple of seconds. Then what you need to do from here before you see this page is log in into the Elf Sites platform. Now to do that, you can either create an account straight for the platform itself or log in using your Google account, which is what I've done because it's very quick and easy. Once you've done that, uh, you'll be taken to this page right here. And all we need to do now is click on publish in the top right corner of the screen. And then we need to choose a plan. Now, since this is the first widget we're using from the platform, we can opt for the free plan right here. Alternatively, if you plan to use multiple of the uh, widgets in the future, you can opt for one of the premium plans right here. So for now, we're going to go for the free plan. So click on select. And then in a couple of seconds, this will take us to the page where we can copy the code of our widget. So go ahead and copy the code and then you can head over back to your Wix website. As you can see, I'm already in my editor and I'm already on the home page, and as you can see, I've got plenty of space right here to add my widget. So from here, what you need to do is go to the top right corner of the screen and click on the search button right here and search for HTML. So once you've done that, um, click add to site and then click on the embeds button right here. And then a new menu is gonna open up on the left-hand side. From here, underneath popular embeds, click embed HTML, and then that's gonna add an HTML box onto your Wix website. From here, all you need to do is paste the code that we just copied and then click on the update button right here. And in just a couple of seconds, your number counter will be added to your Wix website. So all you have to do now is simply resize it just like this. As you can see, you can also make it small if you want to, but I don't recommend it. Just make it big enough. You can also stretch the full width if you'd like to. I'm going to go ahead and do that because that's the best way to do it. So let's go ahead and preview it and see what it looks like for real. As you can see, very nice, very clean looking. I like the look of it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how to add a number counter in Wix. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.